Hey everyone, in this video we'll be solving this problem from Pathfinder Check Your Understanding. So in this problem, we have an external agent that is pulling a spring from this end uh, slowly. So making sure that the kinetic energy of this rod doesn't change. Um, and this end of the this end where the rod is initially lying is frictionless, and this end has some friction. So the mu is non-zero here. So and after the process is complete, this entire rod comes to the side with friction, and we have to determine how much heat is lost in the process. So let's just begin with the solution. So this is how the situation of the solution the situation of the problem looks like. So let's say after a while. After some time, x length of the rod is on the right side. <coughs> so at this instant, we can find the magnitude of kinetic friction um, acting on this part of the rod to be mu times the mu times the normal reaction on this part, right? And the normal reaction on this part with this part would be the mass of this part times g. And what would the mass of this part be? As the rod is given to be homogeneous, we can use the linear linearity principle, right? So the x length would be the mass of x length would be x by the total length times m into g. So we have the kinetic friction. So what would be the, let's say after some time, dx amount of the rod move towards, a, I mean the rod moves towards the right by an amount of dx. So the work done by kinetic friction, the magnitude of that would be in um, fk times dx. So now if we integrate it from 0 to l, so the value of x to b from 0 to L, then we'll get the work done by kinetic friction throughout the process. So that's our first equation you could say. Now, now by using work energy theorem, we know the work done by external agent plus the work done by friction plus the work done by the spring force all has to add up to the change in kinetic energy. Now it's given that the agent does minimum amount of work. Now what that means is this force will be such that it will just be equal to the kinetic friction at that instant. So, and this is to make sure that the rod doesn't gain any acceleration or velocity, all right? So, so, or we could just say the change in kinetic energy is zero. Everything is done so slowly. So now, so as we determine this, no, yeah, in the problem, we have to determine the heat evolved, or we could just say the work done by kinetic friction. That's what we have to determine. So we have to determine the work done by spring and that we uh, know that we can write it as the negative of the change in potential energy in the spring. Now for writing the change in potential energy, we need the final extension, right? So let's say after the process is complete, this entire rod is on the right side now. At this instant, we need to find the delta x in the spring. For that, as I said earlier, this force F would be just equal to the kinetic friction at that case. And at this case, when the when all of the rod is on the right side, we can write the kinetic friction to be mu mg, right? Because the entire rod is on the right side. So if you cut this part of the spring, we know and look at the look at the FBD of that part, this end of the spring is being pulled with F and this end, let's say the spring force is Fs. So as the spring is massless, we know Fs must be equal to F. So hence we can write the delta X to be F by K or mu mg by k. Now, earlier we determined the magnitude of work done by friction to be mu mg l by 2. So we, so we can write delta x in terms of the work done by friction. I'm doing this because we don't know about mu and m, right? And we have to determine the work done by friction. Now all we have to do is just substitute in the work energy theorem. It's given that the work done by the agent is 17.5 joules and let's assume the work done by friction to be W. Uh, we assumed it to be W. And the work done by spring, I just told you, we can write it as negative delta U. So that's why the minus sign. And delta U is half K of the spring times delta X squared. And once you solve it, you'll get a quadratic equation. Um, and you're getting two values of W. Now, we assume the work done by friction to be plus W, right? But we clearly know the work done by friction uh, has to be negative and therefore we'll choose this value w equals minus 5 and That is the work done by the friction in this case or we could also say that's the heat that is lost to the surroundings uh, So the answer to this problem is 5 joules So that was this problem Thanks for watching guys